Hello guys, today talk about the uh, yeah. So if you live in Illinois, you will know something about the state besides its politics. Okay, that in the state of Illinois there is a severe lack of animals. Basically, yes, there are a lot of small animals, but if you go to the west, you go to, you know, other continents, you can see that there's more diversity in animals and even outside of the state of Illinois, okay? And we're going to go for going through animal species that will probably be in the state of Illinois by 2030, okay? Of course, this is a probability. It's only 2022. And they have eight, and these animals have eight years to expand into. So we're gonna go over to the more likely ones, to the least likely ones. But the first animal is black bears. So black bears is no real breeding population in Illinois, where it still be sucked because they're found across Wisconsin and across, and they're breeding really fast in Missouri. So you'll be shocked that, you know, black bears are no, are not even found in Illinois because there's parts by Wisconsin, parts in Wisconsin right by the state of Illinois where black bears live. Okay, they're right near the border, same thing in Missouri, and, you know, South Illinois, I think the black bear is a boy could just stop you at first. Where I live, they might appear by 2040. But black bears, you know, are very, very, very... Are basically the least dangerous of the three bears that are found in North America. Grizzly bears are far more dangerous. Black bears, you know, they're more playful. They're you know, more docile bears. They're omnivores. They're opportunists. And, you know, people who... After all, you know, think that oh yeah, my garbage is safe from raccoons. Well, it's probably not safe. It probably it usually is not safe from black bears. And also, black bears are very common in America. There's around eight nine hundred thousand black bears total in America. And no, it's not to get be confused with the Asian black bear, which is listed as vulnerable because and because you know people are obsessed with gain. Yeah, bile from the bells. This is uh, this is just disgusting. I don't know why people want you know, yeah, especially because I know there's better alternatives to using. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna talk about that topic anyway. It's still so so disgusting. Okay, I'm just it's just why. Okay, why are people in Asia are so weird? Okay, you know why do we you know same thing with how you know how how do you, you know, with the pangolians? Okay, why why do we need why do we need pang to kill pan, all the pangolians in the world, which are basically like, you know, the Asian equivalent to armadillo. So, you know, yeah. And, yeah, but black bears are very opportunistic. They're, very, they're the most adaptable of all bear species. And, you know, they're already found in, state, in a couple of states by Illinois. They're, all, they're already been found breeding in Ohio. And I think, you know, Indiana as well doesn't have any black bears as well. As well, but Illinois is a state that doesn't have any black bears at all, and you know I think that they are an animal. They might already be breeding in the state of Illinois at the uh, this year, most likely in the southern part of Illinois and of course parts of northern Illinois. But they don't. But they were not really a significant population. Okay, they're not really a significant population yet. Unlike in you know Wisconsin, was like twenty thousand bears. And Missouri, there's like a thousand, which increases every year. So yeah, number two, we have the wolf. So the wolf is the one of the largest predators in North America. They're an apex predator, and the wolves, uh, you know, in terms of endangered species, I don't think we should be killing 300 wolves in Wisconsin, because very very recently there were a thousand wolves in Wisconsin, and the the pe the people in Wisconsin had a very very bad idea. They kill 300 of them. Okay, because, you know, that, you know, they, that's again, the Wisconsin, because they were scared of the wolves would overpopulate. Okay. You know, 
I think that they should wait until the wolves become too overpopulated and they become an actual problem in the state of Wisconsin. Because they're not really a problem in the state of Wisconsin. They're mostly found in the northern part of Wisconsin where nobody lives. But wolves, there have there has been more recent sightings of wolves in Illinois, including a man who got arrested who sought a wolf in the state of Illinois. Even though they, because wolves and coyotes look a bit similar, especially if you're go, if you're going far away, because coyotes are legal to hunt in Illinois, but wolves, of course, are illegal because they're a protected species. And basically, throughout the past years, they tried to they tried to remove the wolves' protected species. Of course, they're not. Of course, they're. I don't think they're endangered in Alaska, because Alaska, they're very, very common, but they're a protected species in basically all of America. They're protected in the U.S., they're protected in Michigan, they're protected in Minnesota, they're protected in Wisconsin, and of course, the Rocky Mountain Wolves as well, which are, found, which are the wolves that came from Yellowstone, and of course, migrated from Canada. And, you know, wolves are basically an apex predator, that, you know, were found all across the country. But, of course, because of how evil humans are, they, you know, thought that wolves were evil. And really, it's the sad perception that wolves have and why wolves got pushed out of America. You even have woke up maps of rains that they were expectorated from. But, the you know, the mostly found Wisconsin. But if conversation efforts continue to go as they really do, Wolves can be found, and wolves will soon be able to be found in Illinois, probably by the end of this decade. You can, I, th I think even like actual reintroduction efforts could be held, you know, of wolves being reintroduced from, you know, Cyber no, Alaska and Canada. So, yeah. Number three, bison. Bison are another animal that used to be found all across the North America. There are two kinds of bison. There's wood bison and plains bison. Illinois is known as the Perry spa spa State, but all of the remaining Perry, except for like one, has actual bison running around. Wild bison. And that's like a protected conversation area. But yeah, outside of that, you know, area where it's again, most people don't really count that because it's private lands. But there was only around 500,000 bison in America. There used to be up to 60 to 80 million bison in America. I think introducing, you know, bison to the more prairie areas and more and more protected areas as they are an important grazer for these areas as well. And, you know, if you want to get to, like, other, like, more controversial rewilding, like, you can introduce cattle as, you know, a substitute for other extinct unguates, North American unguates. You could, of course, introduce horses. As other grazers, so there could be a variety of grazers as well. But I think the reason why there were so many bison when we went to America, when people first colonized America, of course, we went to America during my ancestors came from the Ellis Island thing. If you heard about that in school, I bet if you are American, you probably did. But yeah, we came in the 1900s. My ancestors came in the 1900s. So all that stuff. That happened all that time ago. Yeah, we didn't. Our family had nothing to do with that. I like the Civil War and stuff. And other hor horrible acts that were caused by the U.S. government. And mostly because they want. They, because of how old people in the past act, you know, used to treat people. But we're getting off topic there. But yeah, bison. There used to be like 80 to 50. There used to be like 50 to 60 million bison in America. But they were just down to 800, but then of course now there's 500,000. And of course, the prairie state is basically its most important animal, the bison. I think, you know, bison could be reintroduced in large numbers. There's also this thing, oh, we can't introduce bison because they're dangerous or blah, 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 blah. You know, we have all that stuff. But then you have, you know, deer and other wild animals, okay? You know, by the only power introducing such a large, large herbivore like a bison is road collisions because people already have problem with deers in Illinois, and you know that's because deer. But bison could be at least introduced to water protected areas. For example, you know you have all. For example, all the protected areas by me where I live. I'm not gonna say what they are, but you know to keep amenity and stuff, but 
There was like they have like a water grass right? and the one thing they're missing are basically big grazers like bison, buffalo, and, and horses and those animals. Basically, that's what they're missing. They it, it's called it's a con it's like a conversation area. They have beavers and all like small animals, but they don't really have like bison. They don't really have you know big ungulates, big you know megafauna herbivores. Boys. And he has to, of course, he should appreciate small animals, but, you know, big beggar. And, of course, you have to, of course with herbivores, you have to have carnivores, like, you know, bears and wolves. So, number four is the American elk. So, there was uh, the European and American elk. So, the European elk is mostly found in, like, Russia, Scandinavia. But then the American elk used to be found across the whole country. It used to be found across the whole country. Okay, used to be found in like a lot of states, but it's still present in places like, you know, Minnesota. It's still present in Kentucky, where it has been reintroduced successfully. It has spread to various counties in, you know, Kentucky. It has spread to various counties in Tennessee, West Virginia, and that population has been very, very successful. In the, and they spread to every, counties each year. Okay, there are no more mountainous area, and I think they could. Probably spread to the complete southern tip of Illinois. But there is no real, you know, plans of reintroducing elks to North, to Illinois. You know, I, I think they could spread to Wisconsin. Which is the state north of us. Where there's, like, you know, moose. Which everybody thinks that moose are only found in, like, Canada. But moose have been are found in, like, Russia. They're found in, you know... Scandinavia, they're found in Alaska. And I know, I know, I think people know moose are found in Alaska, but people think, oh, moose are only found like Canada and Alaska. <laughs> they're actually found like across Europe and Asia. They're found, you know, there, and, you know, as well, they're also found in even the Northeast. Well, they're not, well, they're not really doing too well in the Northeast, though. You know, they're not really doing too well. They're having a weird part. They're having a population decline there. Same thing with Wisconsin and Minnesota. They're also found the Rocky Mountains. But, you know, elk used to be found all across America. And, they ha and elk reintroduction has been very, very successful. They've been reintroducing elks. Elk to basically a lot of places where they used to live. They have been, in I think, introducing them to more conversation areas. For example, the areas by me, I think that's like a no brainer, just like, you know, introducing wolves, black bears, and of course, wolves and bison. Of course, they can't forget about them. And the last animal that could be reintroduced in the next decade is. So, yeah, the last animal that could be reintroduced to Illinois. I fiddle my mouth here. Is the mountain lion? This, is, of course, is the most unlikely one, but they have there were actually there were actual sightings that the mountain lion, puma, or cougar could not be could not actually be extinct in Illinois. Of course, we all know the government declared the eastern cougar extinct, which you know despite all of the sightings. All according to science are all unverified, even though there has been mountain of proof of evidence that the animals are clearly still alive and are just in hiding. So, so this is the most unlikely one. Yeah, but there has been sightings of you know mountain lions, wolves, and black bears in Illinois, and yeah, and now we can get to the more controversial animals. Okay, so. These are animals that used to live during the Pleistocene era. Yeah, these are, they were, they were, I'm going to put the top five and, of course, five extra ones. So it's really a top ten. Okay, but, the and then, of course, we're going to go over that in a separate video. So that's basically about this video. Goodbye.